my loves. Thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be over this little baby right here. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this is the latest craze here on the YT, and this is Fenty's new eavesdrop blurring skin tint. Yes, I said a tint. So how perfect is this? She has a matte, she has a hydrating, she's got a powder, and now she's got a tint. And I feel as though this was just made for me. <laughs> so um, let me get a little housekeeping out of the way. I have timestamps below. For those of you all who just want to skip to the demo and see the demo, or if you want to skip to the foundation comparisons, you know, all that, you can definitely do that if you don't want to hear my little blurb. But let me just go ahead and get into my little blurb. So as you all know, this has a total of 25 shades. And at first, I was like, oh no, 25 shades? I was kind of shocked. But I remembered, you know, anytime you have a skin tint, which means it's going to be lighter coverage, very light, you can uh, typically get away with uh, falling under other shade ranges. And from my understanding, uh, multiple shades could fall under one particular shade in this foundation. I have to admit, initially when I went into Sephora and I swatched this, uh, I was a little put back because it was on the thicker side. And I'm thinking, how is a, tint, a skin tint thick? You know, to me, you know, because when I think of skin tints, I'm thinking of something very thin, very watery, or, or leaning on that side. This particular tint, not so much, but I'm like, okay, Bridget, let's just wait until we get in and try it on and see what's going on with that. But there's some really great things about this foundation. It doesn't have a fragrance. It's cruelty free. It's vegan. It's paraben free. It doesn't have any egregious offenders in the ingredients like alcohol. And you all know I'm kind of a stickler on that. Also, I really do feel that it oxidizes just a little bit. I've had this on for some time and I just kind of feel like it's a little bit deeper than it initially was when I applied it. And I also noticed that when I was in Sephora, when I was swatching it on my chest, you know, it would come out light and then it would just progressively, you know, get darker. Some skin tints, you know, do it a little bit more than others, but this one was like seriously noticeable. It does claim to be light to medium coverage, uh, which means it's buildable. In the demo, I did not attempt to build it up uh, only because I just felt as though it wasn't needed and I just wanted to uh, get a grasp of how it would look just with minimal application. Because if you're searching for a tint more than likely you really don't want um, that heavy really thick made up look you're, you're not you're not looking for that well at least that's what I'm thinking or at least not for me that's not what I'm looking for so I just applied one layer but I will have to say for a tint the coverage is amazing I don't think that I've ever tried a tint where the coverage was like this and they also recommend that you put it on with your fingers now yes you can use a, a brush and a sponge and all that but what i found is that the fingers look better now when you go around the perimeter as you see you'll see in my demo you will need a sponge or something like that to kind of help blend it out but i i noticed that to get the better um, application and the most pigment is to use the hand, which makes it good for somebody who is on the go all the time. It really doesn't like a lot of fuss with, you know, makeup brushes and powders and this and that and this. You can definitely take this, rub it all in your face and you're good to go. And it really looks good on the skin. I do have to say, if you have exceptionally dry skin, you really wouldn't have to set the skin tint. Um, I just went ahead and set it uh, just right up under my eyes and lightly around my face. That's it. I didn't do any heavy type of setting and to set it I did use the Fenty powder just for those of you all out there who want to know you know how well they play together and of course you know typically when you have makeup in the same brand it's gonna play really well together but I think that it turned out beautifully I can tell you all now that this is um, gonna be my favorite skin tip it looks really good on the skin plus you get the coverage without getting that really heavy look that you really don't want especially when you're in my age group you don't you don't want that heavy look and it really looks good in person which is what I'm looking for when I'm testing foundations you know how does it feel how does it look um, the reason I'm really not too big on wear tests and I know some people are is because there are a lot of factors that can go into wear tests there's skincare there's primers there's environment there's lighting there's so there, there's so much that that goes with that and while I will do a wear test you know, I just kind of feel like if I say a particular foundation lasts, let's say 12 hours, well, I could have been sitting in my house 12 hours in the bed watching TV or around the house just watching TV. Whereas another person could do a wear test and say it's horrible and they've been at work all day outside in the environment, you know, things like that. But anyway, 
I digress. <laughs> Overall for $29.50, which is a steal. I saw that and I was like, $29, that's good. Um, it's a steal, I think it's great. I love the packaging, I think it's cute. I think it screams Rihanna, um, very innovative. I don't have anything like this in my collection. The bottle is uh, plastic, you get the little squeezy tube, but you all will see all of that in the demo. It's just an awesome release and I personally love it. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the foundation comparisons and then after that, I'll get into the demo and then after that that's gonna be it so let me know um, if you decided to pick this up if you're gonna pass on it if you're still not sure if you're trying to figure out your foundation if you're trying to figure out your foundation shade let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it and until my next video now let's get on to the comparison swatches so <laughs> Thank you. 